Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy, and in this series, we're going to make a breakout game in Phaser 3 and Matter.js. So Matter.js is one of uh, mainly two physics options you can use with Phaser. Now, Arcade is uh, more popular, and we've used Arcade in many other videos, but in this one, we're going to use Matter.js. Now, Breakout is not exactly necessary to use Matter.js, but it's a simple game for you to learn how to use Matter.js in Phaser 3. So in our project here, you see we've got this um, beginner Phaser 3 project with the logo bouncing around. If you want to follow along exactly, we are using the Arcade Phaser 3 TypeScript parcel template. You can get it on GitHub at github.com slash arcade, and then just look for the Phaser 3 TypeScript parcel template. So what we're going to do first is we are going to change our game config here to use Matter.js. So uh, this is the project, and we've got some assets already um, that we've pre-created. This is a ball. This is a block. Uh, this is the paddle, and we have one sound effect that we're going to use uh, later on to play a sound when the ball hits a block. All right, so we go back to our main.ts file, and we're going to change our physics definition or uh, physics options here to instead of using Arcade, we're going to use Matter. And then the key here will be Matter instead of Arcade. And now, this project isn't at script. That's what the template we used is. And so for Breakout, we want zero gravity. There really is no gravity in most of the old school arcade games uh, like Pong or Breakout where the ball is moving around in what appears to be like a top-down type situation. Breakout is a little bit different, but there's no gravity anyway. It'll bounce around freely um, and never slow down, the ball that is. So this Hello World scene, we don't need it. So we are going to just go in here and just delete it. Let's delete this Hello World scene. Delete. Trash. Now let's make a new file. Let's call this preload. So we're going to preload our files um, first. Oh, no, what a, no, that's a folder. Delete. New file. Preloader.ts. There we go. Let's import phaser from phaser. Preloader extends phaser.scene. Now, I do remember someone had a comment that said I was typing too fast. Uh, so that was probably pretty fast. Um, let's just go over here. We're just creating a basic scene. And I'll try to remember to not type too fast. Uh, okay, constructor. So every scene needs a key, and we're just going to call this preloader that we pass into super. Now, super can also take an object. Right, the config is either a string or a settings config. So there's more things you can give it. Um, you can check the, uh, the the docs for more information on that. Or I think if you do this, if you command click, you can go into the typing files from Phaser and then give it a look. Actually, the docs I believe are generated from the same from the source, and the type files generated from the source as well. So you should have similar. Uh, information here. All right, back to our preloader scene. So we did that. So we will have to preload. And so first thing, let's preload the ball. So this is just the normal this dot load dot image. I'm going to call this ball. Now we have it in public assets. So in our uh, phaser three TypeScript parcel template. Anything in the public folder will be served at the root. So that means um, this, this public assets ball will be served at localhost 8000 slash assets slash ball. So here we want this assets slash ball dot PNG. Okay, now then let's go make a create. And just to test this, we're going to do this dot add dot image. Uh, let's say. 400, 300, ball. Now let's go back to our main. Since we deleted Hello World earlier, this is no longer good. This is, doesn't work. Right. Okay, I'm not going to collapse that. There's still enough room. Okay, import preloader from scenes. 
preloader. Now let's pass the preloader scene into this list of scenes. And let's see, all right, so here is the ball. So our image loaded and it showed up, so that's good. Just collapse this node modules. Now we don't, we're not gonna do any game logic in our preloader scene, it is just here to preload all our assets ahead of time and then we're gonna use the game scene. So let's make a new scene called game.ts. So same thing as before, we're gonna import phaser from phaser and then create a new class called game and it extends phaser.scene. Constructor, super, this is gonna be game. Okay, so we don't need a preload in this particular scene since we're doing all our preloading in the preloader scene. So we will wanna create, and here we're gonna put the ball. Okay, oops. So in preloader, instead of creating a ball here, I'm gonna do this dot scene dot start. And we're gonna run the game, we're gonna start the game scene. Now, it's gonna do nothing because we have not added our game scene to this list of scenes in our game config. So let's import game from scenes game, just like we did with preloader. And so the first scene in this list will be started automatically. So now the second one will not be. And then it will be started by our preloader scene. So it goes in here, it loads the ball, starts our game scene, and in our game scene, we are creating ball. So that's good. So now we don't actually want an image, we want a matter sprite. So let's go this dot matter dot, let's see, add dot image. So 400, 300 ball. And so let's just say const ball. Now we can close this. Okay. So let's just go ball dot set velocity Let's just move it 10, 10. So it should move this way, oh, oh, this way or that way. Now it, it just is flying off into space because we have no world bounds. So let's add that. So we can go back into the game config here in our matter physics config. We can set a bounds, so set bounds. And it's going to want, so you got to tell it uh, whether the top, left, right, bottom is the bounds you want. So let's just go to phaser.io and just check out the docs here. Go to learn, API docs. So this is in the matter physics config. And let's see, let's just search matter config. Let's see if we get anything here. Let's see, classes, well, we know we can go to game config. Let's do that. Config, game config. And then let's look for physics. Physics, so physics config, matter world config. All right, so this is set bound. That's what we're using. You can either pass in um, true or false or an object. I believe true will just set everything, all the walls to have a bounds. We don't exactly want that because um, in breakout, if the ball goes past the paddle uh, all the way down, you lose a life. So these are the various settings you can use. I think we're gonna keep these to default. We're just gonna set left, right, top, bottom to true or false. And so for now, since we will have to change this later so that our floor is open, um, we're gonna do everything true for now. True. All right, now the ball should bounce around. Uh -huh. Okay, Okay. so matter is, um, let's say more advanced physics than, than, um, uh, than what you normally use. Um, arcade physics, uh, it's less advanced than that. So there's all kinds of like friction with the ground, with the air. Um, but for this type of simple arcade game, you don't really need any of that. 
so we can, let's see, I believe we set air friction. Let's make that, let's see, what does it say? Zero means never slows, smooths through space. We do want that. Okay, now we also want to set bounce because we want to bounce basically, I think one, zero to one. Zero means perfectly inelastic and no bouncing. So we want the opposite. We want one so that it bounces 100% um, of what it hit. Doosh. There we go. Now you see the ball is slowing down. See, it's going much, much slower than it was before. Even though we set uh, air friction to zero and then this happens. So this is potentially just something with how matter is made. And you can spend some time Googling the answer for this, but ultimately what you need to do is set the, uh, what was it? Let's see, I forgot now. The, what do you set? Inertia. You wanna set the inertia to infinity. Okay, and now set inertia is not one of the um, settings that Phaser provides for you, but you can always access access the Matter.js body. So this is the actual body um, object for a Matter.js physics body, instead of the wrapped one by Phaser. And so you can do, let's do this, just to get better types here, since it, you can see here, it's gonna be multiple types. It's gonna be either object. I don't think it'll ever be an arcade physics body, but that is one of the options listed and a matterjs.body. So TypeScript won't actually know which type you want unless you explicitly say, and so we want matterjs.body type. So now this is a matterjs.body type. So now we want body dot inertia. Yes. Now, can we use I believe we can actually do set inertia here. I don't see it. Okay, let's see if this works. And I think we want infinity. And that seems to be slowing down. So one thing with matter is there's a bunch of setter methods you can use on the larger body um, instance that they have. So I think if you do this.matter.world.body, dot body, there's matter.body. So this is, let's read this. This is the matter.body module. So let me just, I'll just read more docs. So let's see here, yep, this is the site. Let's go to the documentation. So we go to body. And so this is the matter.body module that was um, mentioned here, right? The reference to the matter.body module. And in here, there's a bunch of methods you can call and now while phaser wraps some of this for you, in the case where it, where it doesn't, you can do, you can use it directly and then refer to matters to see what it does. And I believe inertia is one of the ones where you should use their setter as it does a bunch of different things, including inverse inertia is set for you when this happens. So dot body dot set inertia on this body. So you need to pass in the matter body and not the phaser matter. Uh, object infinity. Now let's see if that's any better. There we go. That looks like it is not slowing down. Okay. So now we've got the ball. It's moving around. So that is pretty good. So now in the next part, we are going to create a paddle so that we can um, have something to hit this ball with.